All right, here we go. Round one. Dustin Poirier, Conor McGregor. First meeting was back at UFC 178 in September of 2014. It lasted less than two minutes. Since your guy Poirier has won nine fights, a UFC interim lightweight championship, all he wants, though, is to get another crack at the notorious Conor McGregor. To win over Conor McGregor can be life-changing. We saw what it did for Habib Nurmagomedov. Dustin Poirier wants that and feels as though he deserves that through hard work and commitment. You have seen him go on a run after going up to 155. That has been unmatched by many. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Poirier gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh! You gotta move! Oh! Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that's a big... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big oh, knee nice lands knee. there. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. 25 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Nice punch lands over the top. That uppercut landed. You're good. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of hurt. Blocks the shot. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands And up. he's Let's looking go. for that left hand. Just that missed. Keep moving. Oh! Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Keep working to the half guard. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. You gotta be careful, armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down! Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Stop, stop, stop. Ready to fight. Ready. Do it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by McGregor. How good is that right hand? He's in trouble. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Side control now. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Poirier. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Lands with the ground and pound. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Great. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done.
We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by... No!